that soon got that sauce in it. Hey dolls, welcome back to Lace Bar Mari's channel. Today I'll be showing you guys from start to finish how to install a 5x5 closure wig. In my hand now, I have a 28 inch goddess curl from Lace Bar Mari, of course. This regular lace looks so bomb already, so bleaching the knots is definitely optional. The wig comes with four combs and an adjustable hook. I'm so in love with this curl pattern. It's really giving vacation. Like it's really perfect. The perfect curl for vacation. Okay, so to bleach the knots, I use the BW2 powder and 40 volume developer, which will be down below in the description box. When applying the mix, make sure you're gently applying it. You don't want to be too rough. I let the bleach sit for about 10 to 15 minutes, but I'm always keeping an eye on it since I'm using such a high developer. To wash out the bleach, I use purple shampoo to take out any brassiness and then my favorite Garnier conditioner to keep the hair soft. These knots came out so perfect. Like, look at that. Like, look at that. Bleaching the knots isn't mandatory, like I said, for Lace Bar Mari hair, but I will say it really helps take your installs to another level. Okay, so for plucking the wig, I start off by separating the baby hairs, then I part the wig into a middle part. That step is very important because you do not want to pluck too much around the middle part. When plucking, you always want to make sure the pointy part of the tweezer is not the first part to touch the lace. That is what creates holes in your lace, and we do not want that. Okay, so I will admit, my plucking method is a little different. I would say I pluck backwards, if that makes sense. Um, I'll just let y'all watch to understand.
I started this new thing where I plug between the hairline and the baby hair. I feel like it creates a better scalp effect. You guys will see what I'm talking about later. I know y'all see the difference. Like, it's giving scalp already. So I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side and just speed it up. is giving scalp to finish it off I'm plucking the hairline just a little more so it doesn't look like a straight line For those of you who do not like baby hairs I highly recommend this step To prep the hair for install, I'll be spraying the hair with water, parting the middle part, and then hot combing the hair. Well, I'm actually in love with Erica J products, if you couldn't tell, but um, gluing the wig down is not mandatory. We're only going to glue the wig down because my friend is going on vacation and she's going to be around water, so why not?
Okay, so we were attempting to do a TikTok. So if you see her recording, don't mind that. It's just her recording the TikTok for me. Oh, yeah, so that reminds me. Make sure to follow us on TikTok, on Twitter, and on Instagram. And, of course, do not forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel. Don't click that bell, comment below, all that good stuff. It's giving scalp, okay? So my friend requested dramatic baby hair. So if you're someone who doesn't like baby hairs, you actually can just stop right here and just spray the hair with some water, put a little mousse, and you're good to go. Y'all are gonna hate me and I apologize in advance, but after this, I low-key forgot. I was recording this video and was blocking the whole view, but um, I apologize. I will be making a baby hair video in the future, so um, sorry for that. I don't feel like I'm your best client. Now I'm just applying some water and mousse to the curls to let the curls stay tight for a longer period of time. The mousse that I'm using is also from Erica J. I'll put that down below in the description box. Anytime you feel like your baby hairs are too thick, you can always go back and pluck the hair out or comb the baby hairs back into the hair. This headscarf, of course, is from lacebarmari.com. It will be available soon. Most likely by the time you guys are watching this video, it's already available, so just click that website down below.
Last but not least, I'm going to put some makeup to define the part, and then you're pretty much done. Thank you dolls so much for watching. See you guys in our next video.